Bro, I did not think this day would ever come. We're finally here. We are finally here. Starting Xeno Gears. Just beat Xeno Saga 3. It's finally time to experience where my all time favorite series started. Let's get into this. I'm so excited. Oh god, I can't wait to play Xeno Gears. I don't know what's to come. I'm going in this game completely blind. I know a couple lore tidbits, but that's it. Everything else, completely blind. I don't know what any of the areas look like. Everything is just brand new. Oh God, let's go. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Oh, I'm excited to play Xeno Gears. Let's go. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Is this Deus talking? Is that the Eldritch? It is huge. Oh, bro, this feels so surreal. Oh my God. This doesn't even feel real. I'm actually playing Xeno Gears right now. Holy shit. I didn't think this day would come anytime soon. Oh my God, I'm finally playing Xeno Gears. Oh, no way. Central, access confirmed. Initializing fake net. Disconnected. Activating emergency shelter. Denied. Contamination is spreading widely. Captain. Cut off the cables manually. Roger. Activating self-destruct bolts. Confirming. No good, nothing happened. Omega-1, they are attacking. We can't stop them. 98% of our weapons have been taken over. The autopilot system Faust has been accessed. And its phase space logic is being rewritten. Ergo area is increasing. An internal plane is forming. Switching to space displacement mode. Alpha 1, confirming transfer of coordinate codes. Coordinates input, coordinate NX128, EZ061. The main planet. Damn, so they're planning on attacking. Engine room. And next. Activate the emergency ceiling system. Wait. Engine room. Engine. Oh, what is happening? Is this Deus taking over? Or, uh, Kadamini? I don't know anything about anything, so. See that all civilians and passengers are safely transported to the escape shuttles. I will send a dispatch after evacuation is complete. I am evacuating the ship. All of you, evacuate now. Evacuate. Evacuate. Evacuate the ship immediately. All passengers please board the shuttles in a calm and orderly fashion. Ellie? Self destruct the whole Eldridge? Already see the Xenoblade X inspiration. Shit goes wrong and you crash down over an unknown planet. Is that 
Maya? Or Myung? I, th I think it's Maya. Like, the actual right way to say it is Maya. And it was just mistranslated, I think. Pretty purple hair and purple eyes, though. Okay, I remember reading a couple of things about Maya, but I... She's... Got, like, some relationship with Ellie that I don't remember. I know Maya, her name is Elaheim backwards, which is Ellie's name. So there's that. The continent of Ignas, in the northern hemisphere of our world. On this, the largest continent, a war between raging... A war has been raging between two countries for hundreds of years. In the north of the continent lies the Kislev Empire. In the south lies the desert kingdom of Ave. The war has gone on for so long that the people have forgotten the cause, knowing only the pointless circles of hostility and, sh and tragedy. The chronic war obsession was soon to encounter a devastating change. This was due to the ethos, an institution that preserves our world's culture, repairing tools and weapons excavated from the ruins of an ancient civilization. At once, both countries excavated these ruins and had the ethos repair the discoveries in order to increase their military power. The various weapons excavated from the ruins greatly changed the form of warfare. Are these gears? The outcome of the battles between the two countries was no longer determined by man-to-man -man combat, but by gears! Okay, yeah, it is the gears. Giant humanoid fighting mech machines that were obtained from deep within the ruins. Okay, so that's how gears came in to be. They found them in the ruins of an ancient civilization. Okay, so like the people of Xenogears didn't even create the gears. Uh, eventually, after continuous swings in the state of the war, Kislev gained the upper hand. The major factor be behind this lay in the enormous difference in the amount of resources buried within their ruins. Wait, after I continue. Okay, so Kislev got the upper hand because they had more resources. But suddenly, a mysterious military force appeared in the continent of Ignas, called Gebler. This force decided to make contact with Ave. With the assistance of this Gebler military force, Ave was able to recover from being hopelessly outnumbered to being back on even standing with Kislev. Then, taking further advantage of its newly gained momentum, Ave started to capture one territory after another from Kislev, showing no indication of slowing down in their invasion campaign. Bro, why does everyone gotta fight? Why can't we just all be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we? The remote village of Lahan in the outskirts of Ave, near. Wait, oh my, I, what did. Near some. the border of Kislev, I think it said? It went way too fast. I didn't even press anything. This is where it all begins. So this is where like Faye is from? Lahan? Why, 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 ter why country, why do countries always gotta fight in war? Just, why can't we all just be under one giant country and help each other? Huff, huff, damn you. What, what voice do I give Faye? I don't, what, I don't, I can't think of a voice that would fit the way he sounds or the, the way he looks. I don't know, I'll come up with something. Damn you. <laughs> Maybe he sound like that. Huff, huff. That's one down. No, he wouldn't sound stereotypical anime protag. Damn it! What voice do I give him? I don't know. I might just do a different voice every time. What on earth are you? 
No matter how often I knock you down, you still get up. Sit time. Hey, stop. You must not fight here. Uh, actually, I feel like it sounds like Jin a little bit, but older. I mean, Jin is a big, or Satan is a big inspiration for Jin anyway. Ah, boy, are you persistent. Bitch. Huff, huff. Damn it. How come? Why did it have to come to this? Okay, what is that? Jiggling JPEG. What's a painting? Oh, is Faye having a flashback? Ooh. Oh, that about does it. Oh, listen to this music. Oh, all right. That'll for a short break. Oh, I can move around. Oh, oh, whoa, there's a jump button. Okay. Whoa, okay. These controls are weird. It's, okay, it's uh, square for the menu, triangle to jump? I am not used to that at all. Is there any... What is file? Okay. We don't have any gears. Abilities. Guide shot. Ball of Chi attack. Any P. No items. Can't equip anything. No weapons. Accessories. Oh, I can I'm not be equipping any of those status. It's already been 13 minutes? God damn! Okay. Oh, yeah, we don't have any death blows yet. Okay. Oh, God. Well, this is wild. I don't know shit about Zeno Gears. This is like, I'm going in blind right here. Okay. How do I run? Maybe I can. Okay, I can move the camera with that. Okay, and then. Okay, I can hotkey the menu and stuff. Okay, I can hotkey the face buttons with the right stick. Okay, that's gonna take a bit getting used to, turning the camera with the triggers instead of the right stick, because that's just how every modern game works. Alright, I'm gonna have to get used to that, but I mean, it's not that hard. I've played the DS Dragon Quest games and they do the same thing, so... How do I interact? Okay, so square is to run, or circle is to run, and I'm assuming X is to interact. Alright. Hello, Faye. You're looking well today. Why? How, how time flies. Oh, why it has already been three years since you came to our village. When you first saw you brought in all... When they first saw you brought in all bloody and soaking, to tell you the truth, they didn't think you were going to make it. And that strange, mas strange masked man carried you here that day. Do you think that maybe he was your real father? Don't you remember anything? Why, they say you had terrible nightmares and constantly called out for your father oh okay okay what's happening flashback scene was i supposed to talk to her to progress the story or is this optional either way it's lore so i don't care who is it oh wrong voice chiefly oh who, who are you what you want me to look after this boy? Okay, so maybe fate isn't from Lahan. God, see, I'm already fucking up with the right stick. I'm, I'm really gonna have to get used to that. Not to move the camera with the right stick. But now you're so healthy and strong. And that's all thanks to our village chief, Lee. Why should you be grateful? Okay. I'm like, okay, this is great, bro. I, I'm liking it so far already. I can definitely see myself like putting a lot of time in this and even like replaying it. Just the, just the feel of it. I don't know what it is, but like PS1 
era JRPGs give me like this special type of feeling even though I grew up with Nintendo. So like FF7, Xenogears, and like games in this style feel like nostalgic and really special to me for some reason even though I've never played them. So whatever. You know, Faye, I am sure that our village chief thinking of you as his own grandson, thanks of you as his own grandson, not having any family for all those years and living on his own for oh so long. That's why he cares so dearly about you. Please never do anything that would break his poor old heart. You promised me that, Faye. Oh, I can move around during oh, dialogue. So I can just, okay. Is it proximity so I can talk to him? And if I, okay, it gets a certain amount of weight. It, okay, that's cool. I didn't know I could move during, during uh, like, hex boxes. Xenoblade would never. Xenoblade wish it could. Can I not talk to them? Oh, I'm fucking running, dumbass. Timothy. Yo, hi there, Faye. Sorry for us all using your house like this, but we have to talk about the big day tomorrow with the village chief. Yeah, tomorrow, huh? Your wedding with... Alice, now that is a big day. Yeah, right. But it still hasn't hit me as reality, though. Hey, uh, Timothy, I just want to thank you both and Alice. I'm not moving the camera. Doing that on its own. But years ago, I woke up and in this village without a trace of my memory. I didn't know who I was, where I had been, or what I had been doing up until that day. I couldn't recall a single thing. Despite that, you and Alice sympathized with me and encouraged me to go on. If the two of you hadn't have been there for me, I don't know what would have become of me. Timothy, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Now you and Alice had better had better lived happily ever after. Ha! <laughs> Quit it with you. You don't you don't have to go and get all mushy on me. Anyway me it feels like I've always been friends with you ever since we were kids and we will go on being friends forever right of course ah uh, yeah Faye could you stop by and check on Alice I still have stuff to discuss with my old man and the village chief uh, but I'm sure she'll be glad to have some company yeah sure I'll do that anyway I'll see you later Oh, and I'm really looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow. Okay. Okay, first of all, if you need to meet with the- Why are y'all in my house? Y'all don't have- Can't go to the chief's house to do this? If y'all gotta talk to him anyway, why are y'all in my house? Is that- Is that a, a girl? I can't tell. Is that a guy? Cause the hair- Cause I don't want to give him the wrong- Whatever. I'll just speak of my normal voice. Alice's uncle. Okay, dumbass. It says Alice's uncle. That's a guy. I didn't. I thought the person was saying Alice's uncle. I didn't see the quote. Whatever. I didn't see the quotations. Okay. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Tomorrow, my little Alice is going to become someone's wife. I knew this day would come. I would just give him Obama's voice. I knew this day would come. This is the worst part of bringing up a little girl. Okay, well, so much for the Obama voice. It lasted like four seconds. Oh, it's you, Faye. We're in the middle of discussing Timothy and Alice's wedding arrangements. Hey, why don't you bring a girlfriend or two home once in a while? Just because you live with an old man like me doesn't mean you have to hold back <laughs> now. You're here. <laughs> what? what the hell? Why would I was as young as you are? It seemed like every day I- Bro, we don't need to know that, alright? We don't need to know how much you were slanging. Oh, uh, never mind. Now we still have important things to discuss. So don't get in the way now. Alright, bruh. I didn't need to know any of that. Hello there, Vey. Our Timothy is a really lucky boy to be able to marry such a beautiful girl like Alice. I hope you come up with some embarrassing tales to tell in your speech. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Whoa, who is this? Bro, who is who, who is this mega mind looking ass nigga? What? Who is the? <laughs> so there you are, Faye. There you are, Faye. I have to talk to you about something. 
but uh, you can't tell me that's not how he, he would sound like. Well, hello there, Dan. Yeah, uh, he looks like a Dan. You <laughs> live your life new today as you are every day. Dan, don't be so rude. What's with the barging in and all? Ah, Timothy's here too. Butt out, Timothy. Until you marry my sister, you have nothing to do with me at all. I just have some business here with my friend Faye. So anyway, Faye, I uh, I have something to talk to you about later. What is it, Dan? It sounds serious. Yeah, that's why I can't talk about it here. <laughs> there's, there's a certain person listening in who could cause us trouble. I can't even do it without laughing. It's really important. We gotta talk. Seriously. One on one. Man to man. Man to gremlin, more like. I'll be hanging around outside, so I'll see you later, okay? Be seeing you, Timothy. Take care of yourself until tomorrow. <laughs> huh? What's, what's up with him? Timothy, as of tomorrow, I'm going to be that kid's brother-in-law. Wait, that part isn't going to be no honeymoon. Okay, so that's outside, right? I don't want to leave the house yet. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong thing. And there's like a bunch of end lag. Okay, aqua song. I'm sure that's going to be important. There's like a lot of end lag. Is that even the right word? Goddamn, Smash has fucked up my mind so much. There's a lot of end lag for when I close the menu and from when I can move again. What does this do? 50 HP? Okay. Do the D does the D-pad do anything? Okay, let's me move. Aquasol. Anything left in here? Is this a painting of... Of what happened? Like when he, that day he got here? Bro, this is great. I'm loving this already. Fuck, Casino Gears is great. Fuck, this is amazing. What? Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be jumping a lot of time in this game. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is really is like the DQ DS games. I can just move the camera around like this. Wait, can I like leave the town? Maybe I shouldn't be out here yet. Okay, there's an overworld. Lahan Village. Oh, there's a whole continent, so it really is like FF7. It makes sense since this was pitched to be FF7. And these were developed in the same time. FF7 came out a year earlier though. So I've played a bit of FF7 and it's 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 fun. It's fun or whatever. From all the cool people of Lahan, Buon Giorno. Like DiGiorno? DiGornos? Okay, where Alice? Where's where's Alice? How am I supposed to find her? What the fuck is that? Wait, bro, I just saw some like flag. Oh, there's this motherfucker. Dan. Oh, good thing you're ready to talk. As you know, tomorrow's finally the day of my sister's wedding. So what I want to talk to you about is exactly that: Alice's marriage. Faye, to be perfectly honest with you, I've always wished you could be... could have been my brother. It's still not too late. You could go steal Alice and run off with her. If you need me to help, I'd be glad to. See, he's already weird. It may be odd for me to say this, but my sister's beautiful and a good cook. And this is just between you and me, but she's rolling down too. <laughs> See what I mean? This nigga's a weirdo. Why are you talking about your sister like that? Well, oh, come on, go for it. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Hey, what are you talking about, Dan? 
Timothy and Alice are both my best friends. You know I can't do that. Yeah, I know that. Well, if you're gonna be like that... But if you change your mind, come and talk to me. Not happening. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Okay. Who's that? Alice and Timothy's wedding tomorrow that is the talk of the town. I guess it's to be expected though. Is it one of life's biggest events? The women of the village are born, raised, married, and live out the rest of their lives here. There must be some happiness in that, but I've been thinking from time to time. Sometimes I wish I were born a man so I could travel the world and live an ever-changing life. I mean, there's no one stopping you from doing that as a woman. Yeah, maybe that's not tradition, but fuck that. Do what you want. Don't let society hold you down to gender norms and whatever. I'm not... whatever. Let me not get into that. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? No. If you want to do it, go and do it. Really? Do you mean it? <laughs> I knew you'd say that for me, Faye. Here, this is my very own homemade aquasol. Our bear cows love it. Try it out sometime. Bear cows? Wait, what the fuck is a bear cow? Is that a bear cow? Bro, what is a bear cow? It looks like a goat dog. The fuck is a bear cow? Okay, where do I go? Uh, I don't think that's... This is another gremlin. Um, so that's that's Faye's house. Maybe she's in here. Okay, what am, what exactly am I supposed to do? Okay, whoa, okay. There's a save point. It looks just like the Zohar. That's what save points in this game look like. Okay, so that's what files for. Wait. What do you mean no memory card? Are you serious? I literally have one in right now. Can I like take it out and put it back in? Does that fuck anything up? Okay, put it in. Bro, come on. If I put it in slot two. Okay, so. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I can't save because apparently it's saying I don't have a memory card. <laughs> even, though it, even though I literally have one right here. 128 megabytes. Plugged in. Do I have to like restart my PS2 in order for it to. Because I'm not trying to have to go through this entire intro of the game again. Well, looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. I can't even... I can't save. I literally can't save. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to figure this out. I can't even leave, okay. Damn, I really didn't want to have to end it here. Like, we just got started, I already have to end it, because I don't... I doubt y'all want to see me fuck around with this memory card and then have to do this entire intro again. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. What an absolute horrendous start to the to the playthrough, right? The first video, all right, the one that most people are going to watch and it's just this bad. So now people are going to think I'm a terrible content creator, which I am, because look at this. I can't even get my hardware working. So... I mean, I don't really know what else to do other than just try to fix it right now. So that's it for this episode, unfortunately. I really wanted to keep on going, but I don't know what's going on with this. Um, unless for some reason your PS... No, because PS2s are backwards compatible, obviously. So there's no reason why the PS1 game shouldn't be reading the memory card. Do I have to format the game to the memory card? Is that what it is? Oh well, anyway, 
yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop this here and just figure it out. And then episode two, we're gonna pick up from right here. I'm gonna do the whole intro and everything again and pick up from here. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, this is not a great start, but see you next mission and play some goddamn Xenoblade.